Sorry, what's up? So I'm calling to order the supervised release committee meeting for July 25th, 2022. Uh, it is 105 and we are proceeding regarding the supervised release concerning Rafe Pollock. Um, and we will start by uh, calling the roll uh, for committee members. Um, Adam Dorn, are you present? Present. Bill Topol, present. Mary Ann Miller, present. Angie Serwa, present. We also have in the room representatives from the Winnebago County Sheriff's Department. We have uh, Sheriff John Motz here, um, along with um, Todd Christie. Um, and we also have from Court Counsel, uh, Paralegal Crystal Thompson, and Administrative Assistant Melanie Bolter. Um, can I have a motion to approve the agenda? Motion. Okay. I Second. Second. Oh. All right. Um, so now, um, so approved. So now we're going to have a status update regarding Mr. Pollock. Um, as the committee recalls, on June 21st, the Winnebago County Board of Supervisors approved a million dollars plus to design and construct a residential facility for 980 violent sex offenders. On July 8th, 2022, the facilities director, Mike Elder, uh, the sheriff's office, the sheriff, and Ty Christine, and myself met with the city of Oshkosh uh, regarding paperwork needed to proceed with the residential facility for 980 violent sex offenders. We had a meeting for approximately two and a half hours, and a lot of things uh, were clarified. Uh, the bottom line is the city indicated, even though we own the plan or, or the land, the proposed facility would be within the city zoning. So we have to satisfy obligations there. Uh, the city told us we needed to get a final site plan and a final landscaping plan for. Uh, the proposed facility. A week later, uh, Mike Elder and myself had a lengthy meeting with an architect from Madison regarding required plans that needed to be developed that would need to be submitted to the city in connection with this plan. Um, I spoke, I tried to reach the architect today um, and I was not able to reach him. Um, I will tell you that at the meeting that um, Mr. Elder and I had with his team in mid-July, about a week and a day ago, um, he had indicated that his team thought that they could get the plans developed uh, during the first part of August. Now, as the committee members may recall, we have a status conference regarding this case in front of Judge Jorgensen on August 17th. Uh, and there is a date looming of August 25th uh, to basically find housing for Mr. Paula. Given the fact that obviously trying to put up a residential facility cannot be done in a month, at the same time, I had one of my assistant corporation counsels reach out to a number of state vendors that Angie Sur was kind enough to provide us with. Um, who served as landlords in the past to see if there was anything that they had that would meet our requirements. Um, we got responses, but none of them satisfied our requirements. So my assistant is still continuing to reach out. But at this point, we are proceeding with trying to go forward with the residential facility. So that's basically where things stand. Does anyone have any? questions. We have additional comments. Okay. I I went through and used the data sources from state DHS for daycares and uh, nursing homes as well as additional park facilities mm -hmm. and uh, school updates from uh, the State Department of Public Instruction to update our GIS information to evaluate any sites that might be identified by the Assistant Corporation Council mm -hmm. for uh, against the criteria of the state statute. So that's that's been updated as well based on current information from 2022. Well, that's, that's good as well. Um, given that, does anyone have any questions regarding where we stand? 
Angie, do you have any questions? Okay. Nope, I don't. Sorry, I was muted. No, that's fine. Um, so as you can see, Winnebago County is trying to move forward as best we can. Um, and that's basically what has occurred. Um, given this, I guess, I think we, we just need to keep going forward, trying to locate, you know, any other residential option we have. Does anyone have any suggestions regarding items for the next agenda or should it just be a status update? I did just reach out to Hans. I apologize to inter, um, interfere, but he will be, he says he can join, so he will join. Okay. What is Hans' last name? Oh, I mean, I have, I just, I copied, um, I copied uh, Crystal Thompson on it. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. Can you spell it? Yes, I can spell it. I will butcher it if I try to pronounce it here. It is R U F as in Frank, E N A C H T. R U F C as in Charlie, is that what you said? C N? No, I said R U F as in Frank, E N A C as in Charlie, H as in Howard, T as in Tom. Rufinac. maybe Rufinac. Okay. Well, there's really nothing more that I have to update the committee with. So, and since we have a quorum, maybe we don't need to have Hans here anyway. I'll let him know. But he's now, uh, Crystal has his information so he can come in looped in on all okay. other correspondence for meetings. Great. Um, when does the committee want to have its next meeting? Again, we are in front of Judge Jorgensen on August 17th, which is a Wednesday, and then the deadline for So I would I would recommend that we wait and see what happens at the hearing, and then uh, depending on if we have business that needs some kind of a, a decision that we could get together within the month, you know, 30 days mm -hmm. after that. Mm -hmm. Uh, if there's nothing that needs to be talked about for a while, we just kind of leave it out there until we're um, and then until we need to to meet mm -hmm. to discuss. Or you know, within I guess ninety days, just if we still have the case in ninety days, we just do an update or something. Okay. Um, Unless we need to meet sooner because we got a decision point. Okay. So should we basically? <clears throat> wait until the August 17th hearing, and then we could send out an invitation, depending on what happens at that hearing, then we could send an invitation out to all the committee members. Does that sound like a, a feasible approach? Sounds okay to me. Oh, that's fine. Okay. All right. Okay, so I will entertain a motion to adjoin, adjourn. Motion. Second. Okay. So we are so adjourned. Thank we, you. Do we need to vote on that or not? No, we don't, okay. no, we don't. Okay. Okay. Thank you, everyone. See you next time. Thank, Thank you. you. There we are. And we Lovely. just have to. Thank <clears throat> you.